question seven. <laughs> question seven is actually testing you on mole concepts. So let's take a look at the question. 14.3 gram of hydrated sodium carbonate was treated with excess hydrochloric acid to produce 1,200 cm cube of carbon dioxide measured at room temperature and pressure. So what is the value of X? Whenever you are attempting a mole concept question, and this is an example of a very common question that is asked in exam, okay, where students are required to find the number of water molecules present in a hydrated salt. Okay, so whenever you are attempting a mole concept question, the first step is to always construct a balanced chemical equation. So when sodium carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid, we get sodium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide gas. So make sure that your um, chemical equation is balanced whenever you are attempting a mole concept question. The second step is to actually find the number of mole of a substance that you are given information to work with. So in this question, you are given information about uh, the mass of hydrated sodium carbonate and volume of carbon dioxide gas. Which one do you choose? Okay, to find, uh, do you find number of mole of hydrated sodium carbonate or number of mole of carbon dioxide gas? The answer is to find number of mole of CO2 and not number of mole of hydrated sodium carbonate. And why is that so? This is because of the, um, the unknown value of water molecules in the hydrated salt. If it's unknown, right, then you cannot find the molar mass of the hydrated salt. Hence, you have to work backwards. So, Another clue that is given in the question is the term room temperature and pressure. When a gas, when the volume of a gas is given and uh, the, the question states measured at room temperature and pressure, you need to remember the magic number which is molar volume and that is 24 dm cube which is also equals to 24,000 cm cube. So, how do we find number of mole of carbon dioxide gas? We take the volume given divided by molar volume and that is equals to 1200 cm cube divided by 24,000 cm cube. You need to make sure that the units are the same okay, before you do a mathematical operation. Hence, you will get 0 0.05 mole. Okay, now we are done with the second step. What's the third step? The third step is to compare mole ratio between what you found and that is carbon dioxide gas between CO2 and between what you have to find. Okay, what is asked for in the question. And in this question, it is to find number of water molecules present in hydrated salt. So we compare with sodium carbonate first. Okay, and the mole ratio, how do we find the mole ratio? You compare the coefficient, which is the value or the number in front of the compound. No number written there means it's one. So the mole ratio it is 1 is to 1. If 0 0.05 mole of carbon dioxide is produced, this means that 0 0.05 mole of sodium carbonate is reacted or was reacted with hydrochloric acid. Okay, so now 0 0.05 mole of sodium carbonate, the next step is to find the mass of sodium carbonate. And how do we find mass? We take mole or number of mole of sodium carbonate multiplied by its molar mass, which I have already calculated here. Okay, so 0 0.05 times 106, you will get 0 0.05 times 106, you will get 5.3 gram. This means, huh? In 14.3 gram of the hydrated salt, only 5.3 gram is from or is contributed by the sodium carbonate.
uh, salt only. The rest, right, the remaining is all from water. Okay, so the fifth step. So mass of H2O, it is equals to 14.3 gram minus 5.3 gram, which is 9 gram. Correct, and 9 gram is contributed, oops, 9 gram is contributed by XH2O. So to find number of mole, we take mass. Okay, number of mole of H2O, we take the mass 9 gram divided by the molar mass of water, which is 18 gram per mole, and we will get 0 0.5 mole. Take note, ah, this 0 0.5 mole comes from 0 0.05 mole of the hydrated salt. So just take number of water molecules, or we just compare mole ratio. Wait, ah, let me write Na2CO3 dot XH2O is to H2O. 0 0.05 is to 0 0.5. Make the hydrated salt your subject, make it uh, give it a value of 1. So you divide it by 0 0.05. 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.05. 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.05, you will get 10 mole. Okay, this means that in 1 mole of hydrated sodium carbonate, there is 10 mole of water, hence the value is 10. Sorry, the working is very long, okay? So the answer is D.